Hey YouTube, Crybag Cake here, and today I have a tutorial on how to install the Chroma Hills texture pack for Minecraft 1.5.2. Now you're going to need um, two mods for this. You're going to need the Sonic Evs Unbelievable Shaders mod and the Optifine mod. Now these aren't necessary unless you want to download the Shaders version of the texture pack, which is pretty neat idea considering that shaders are uh, quite widely used now, to be honest. And yeah, so. This is the kind of texture pack that I'm going to be downloading. It's the 128 times 128 use of shaders only, and I'm going to be downloading them. So what you want to do is go and click download zip file, and go through all the steps and all that. But I've downloaded that already. I'll come to that in a second. Uh, you want to download the Sonic Evers Unbelievable Shaders mod. All links will be down below, by the way, and yeah, uh, they'll just be fairly quick links. I found the most reliable websites. Um, just got to make sure that the Minecraft version is compatible with the mod itself. So this is 1.5.2 and the version of Minecraft that I'm running on at the moment is 1.5.2. So I'll download this, but if you're not going to get the same mods, it's going to give you a black screen. And yeah, so you want to click download and then this is going to come up and you want to hit download there. And now for the Optifine, you're going to download the Ultra version, and you're going to hit download, you're going to go to AdFly, and yeah, that's about that for uh, downloading Optifine. So, this goes to my folder where I have all three. So I have the Chroma Hills, the Optifine mod, and the Sonic Evers Unbelievable Shaders mod, all for 1.5 or 1.5.2. And now we need to go and find our .minecraft um, folder. We want to type in, in here, percent app data. If you're running in a different operating system, um, such as Windows XP, um, you want to go and hit the Windows button and on. It's going to pop up with Run, and then you can type in percent app data there and press OK. Now I don't know how um, to actually find your dot micro folder in Macs and Apple products, although I'm sure if you look up a tutorial on YouTube, you'll be able to find one. Uh, what you want to do now is go to your dot minecraft and go down to bin now you want to go and go to your minecraft and right click open with winrar now that you have to download winrar there'll be tutorials on the internet and all, it's fairly easy it's very self explanatory on how to actually download it and install it so now that we have a minecraft drawer open we can put that to one side and this to one side and open the optifine mod uh, we're going to install this first, so what you want to do is Control A and drag and drop these over to the folder, like so. Now you want to close that, you're done with that, and you've got to click on Sonic Evers Unbelievable. And you're going to do the same with this, you're going to drag that over, and there you go. Now you're going to go to your, um, where, where is it, Texture Packs folder, and I have the Chrome Hills texture pack already installed but I'll just drag it in for instance you just got to drag your raw folder in and wait hmm what just happened wait a second let's go back um yeah so you just want to drag that in there there you go and that's going to put the texture pack into your minecraft uh, texture pack area so now you want to open minecraft like so, or you, however you're going to open Minecraft, I don't know. And you won't see this to start off with, you got to actually select the texture pack itself. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in all this. It's texture packs, and click the one you installed, which is that. It's going to load, there you go. And now we're going to go to shaders, and click internal. Now the reason why we're clicking internal is because we put in our dock dot minecraft folder or minecraft jar I'm sorry uh, we put it inside our uh, uh, minecraft jar now if you want to add additional shaders all you gotta do is open shaders pack folder and drag and drop any shaders into here and you can select them from this menu screen now that's done we can go into the single player worlds oh, I just create another single player world and let's see what it looks like now without the shaders the texture pack will blue I've tested it before yeah, so this is with it with the shaders. So you've got the blowing leaves, you've got the uh, the sunset, and all the shadows and all this. Very nice, as you can see. There you go. There's the sunset or the sunrise. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, now I'll show you without the shaders, just to prove that it needs shaders to work. 
Well, you can actually play this without shaders. It's very blue. <laughs> A blue purple color, I suppose. But yeah, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope this video. I hope it helped. Uh, comment below if you needed any help. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, share.